Okay. He said he has a, they have a pneumatic, uh, or they have a gun that does it at work. Yeah. I don't know whether they're using a little bit. There's a little one. Okay. Okay. This is neat. Yep. Oh boy. Do you think he uses the aluminum ones that work or steel ones? Could be any. Huh. They're just harder to pop when they're steel? The strength is in the, the material, obviously. Stainless is stronger. Okay. Anything that's structural on that airplane is stainless. Anything that's like skin, trim parts. Yeah, it really goes in the application. Aircraft is real critical. Snowmobile, they generally aren't, they should be, even more so. There we are. Awesome. So any, any, any other tips you want to tell Chris? Really, again, the whole thing is just preparation, making sure Biggie's burrs. Well, this doesn't look this doesn't look like I did a stellar job of deburring because I'm going through yeah. two crap layers of material with a gap in between. That'll that'll never exist again. Got it. No seams here. Yep. Okay. If it were aviation, some lot, a lot of things are more critical than other. Rivet length, we haven't even talked about that. Rivet length versus the thickness of the material. Piece of material this thick, obviously, it's going to take a longer rivet than a piece of material or two pieces of material this thick, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, thank you. I'll copy this down for Chris.